What's going on YouTube? This is Inventory King coming at you. Uh, this is a little stand I built for two 20 gallon tanks. Uh, I got the design from the King of DIY and uh, it's going to be going into the fish room that's got the the Mason I Yellow Labs and the show tank for now. Uh, let's show you what I do next. Alright, here's the two 20 gallon tanks. Uh, I got some acrylic paint from the local pharmacy. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, so I uh, brought them inside where it's warmer so it's easier the paint sticks and dries quicker. Uh, so I got one coat on and I will be putting the next coat on in about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. All right, here's what I use. This is the sand that I get. Uh, I get it from Home Depot. Um, you can see it right there. Uh, these are 100 pound bags. They're under nine bucks for 100 pounds. Uh, I looked on forums for sand quite a while back, a year or two ago, and um, it's just so expensive to get sand, and I found on a forum that people have used this. There's pictures proving it, and um, it works excellent. It uh, does require to be washed a lot, but if you have the patience to wash it, um, you know, maybe about 10 minutes per half a five gallon bucket of sand, you're gonna save a ton of money. And this is what the sand looks like. This isn't one of my other tanks, but it does the job. All right, so here's the next step. Let's get the bucket outside, Let's get the sand. And get, it, get it nice and, I don't know, maybe about halfway. That should be plenty for my 220s on anything I could And then you just go and you just start filling it up, get some good pressure in there. I mean, I'll, I'll use my hand and create more pressure, but I'm sure you could tell that this is filthy. If you don't rinse this, this is going to happen to your tank. You do not want this. You do not want this in your tank. And as you can see, that is some dirty, dirty water. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bucket and then I'll come back on when it is almost done. So it might be kind of hard to tell, but right here's a light ring and then there's that dark ring. Dark ring is the sand, so you're kind of being able to start to see the sand now, so it's pretty close to being done. I'm gonna do a few more uh, and uh, spraying water through it, real a lot of pressure to get everything stirred around and I think I'll be good. So, uh, as you can see, the blue's done. I just did my last coat. It should dry shortly. Um, these tanks I got, uh, they're old. I found someone on Craigslist that bought eight 29 gallons and eight 20 gallon tanks, five bucks a pop. Can't really go wrong. Once the water's in there, you don't see, see it much. The one thing I don't really care about is the, uh, the brown trim. Uh, so what I also use is acrylic non-toxic black paint, just like the blue, uh, except it black. And uh, I paint the trim and because it's non-toxic I've done it on all my other ones like this and I haven't had any issues so uh, it makes it look sharp be back at you so there we go it's black now um, it gets on the glass when you do it but because it's water-based you wipe it right off um, so that's what I'm doing for my fry tanks hopefully I'll have the rest of this uh, finished tonight all right guys here is the tank uh, or the tanks on the stand painted and uh, I'm gonna get the sand in there next and then the seated filters from my other tanks uh, and then the water well the water then the seated filters here's uh, get all that set let it uh, go for about an hour or so then I'll move the fry so here's what we got so far we got the bottom tank full there goes my phone and we got the top one filling up now uh, I think it's coming out pretty good all right, I got the two 20s, uh, pretty sure they're 20s, all up. Uh, and, uh, got the one sponge in each one and the one heater in each one. Uh, underneath there, I got the air pump 
and it goes into there where I got my Demason Eye and Yellow Labs. Uh, but I'm going to put in now the buffer, the uh, cichlid salt, my Epsom salt, Prime, uh, all that stuff in there and let it go for I'd say about an hour. And these are seeded uh, sponges, they've been in tanks with fish in them for a while now so I know it's instantly going to be cycled but uh, I'd still like to give it a little time to get through. And then I'm going to move the fry into here and then I got to move my Hanji Islands actually uh, over here because there's a power outage where they are currently being kept so uh, stay tuned. All right, so it is done there. A uh, little sunshine fry in the top one. Kind of hard to see them. I mean, they are tiny. And then on the bottom one, I got I got uh, Z Rock, Super Red Empress, and Yellow Labs. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great day, and uh, please subscribe.